All right, hey guys, uh, so uh, today I want to cover something that I've, I've had for a while, uh, but you know, I never really, never really realized that it deserves a little bit more credit than it gets. Um, and that is the SKD um, Pig Grunt uh, Pack. So SKD is running a pretty amazing sale right now. Uh, they, they title it as such. Um, so I know they have these in Ranger Green for $70 right now. And then this is one of the, the demo ones that they had. I think I got it for like 50. And as far as I know, it's still on the site. Um, but I wanted to go over this as a, uh, a Molly attached salt pack, right? So, you know, there's a whole mess of them out there, you know, starting with the Eagle ones and the Allied Industry ones. And then you've got some really niche ones like the RE Factor uh, Aggressor. You know, there's a whole range of these um, backplate uh, packs, right? So um, this one, I didn't, I didn't really realize how, how nice it is until pretty recently. So it is contoured basically exactly to the size of the plate. I think they even come in sizes to match your plate size. Um, so this is on a small uh, Blue Force gear plate minus um, so you know if it fits on a plate minus it's gonna fit basically any plate carrier without overhang because that's about as small as you can get um, so I do have the gray ghost gear pouch on here so that's that's not included um, at the end I'll have a picture of the back face and the front face even though SKD is probably one of the best out there for giving you information on the website itself um, but it's got a full molly field on the front and then the way they do the back is awesome there's no molly permanently attached to it it uses uh malice clips which you know give or take pros and cons on malice clips um but the back of this is basically slick so if you want to run it as a pack uh you buy their upgrade straps and you don't have molly webbing uh poking you in the back which is pretty nice all right but uh going over the features of this thing so you've got your molly field on the front um there's five rows um, of molly and there's six columns okay so it's a nice size field and there's nothing goofy going on there where you're gonna have to stagger any pouches all right you've got two uh, columns on the side here so you know if you want to run a radio or something like that there's plenty of room if you want smoke grenades or water bottle pockets or whatever if you're using it as a, as a standalone pack um, you do have molly on the sides and there's enough body to actually support that all right up at the top here there is a real small pocket i don't know uh, if that was intended for something specific but you could absolutely fit like a small signal kit in there so you could have your um you know one of your nine volt ir strobes in there you could have you know a daytime nighttime buzz saw set up and maybe a small signal panel um, but my fingers are at the bottom of it so it goes right down to here um, not very big but you could absolutely fit something you know quick access in there the front has a slash pocket that goes all the way down to the bottom uh, and it's got some good depth to it. Um, you could for sure fit a light jacket in there if you had one of the, you know, like a Wild Things wind shirt or something like that. That would fit in there real easy and you could get to it super quick. And then looking at the main body of this thing. So it has a bladder sleeve on the, the back side here. Uh, with retention in there, so that's nice and then a pass-through up top and Then it's got a little bit of a bellow to it for this slash pocket So you're not limited to just like a map in there. It'll go into the body of the pack uh, But other than that, it's a half open and then uh, slick on the inside so You know, there's a there's a good bit of room in here Obviously if it's got the two columns, it, it can expand a good bit you could for sure fit a uh, change of clothes in there, um, some rain gear, some some um, real light shelter stuff if you're using it for like a day pack. Uh, you fit you know a couple MREs in there. It'll fit um, blocks of C4 in there without you know smashing the ends of them or anything. So you're not gonna snot it out in there. Um, a lot of a lot of room for stuff while maintaining. A, uh, a body that fits right on the plate bag. You can see as this thing fills up and it, and it stretches out, it does not uh, go past the, the edges of the plate. So um, this thing for sure deserves a look 
if uh, this is something that you you like using um, it it flattens out you know completely flat if you were wearing a big ruck over this or something and you you emptied it out or just had your bladder in there it won't cause you any problems uh, it has no no fixed body to it so it'll it'll collapse great um, and then you know it's got a velcro field up here too it'll also on the back side it'll take their pontoons if you're using it as a standalone pack so the channels that the mouse clips go through uh, are velcro faced so that it will take the pontoons as well and then you can see that you've got your your metal d-rings on the top and on the bottom corners that's where your straps tie in so i don't know how comfortable it would be standalone but it's a it's small enough standalone that it, you're not going to overload it before it gets uncomfortable um, so that's the skd uh, pig runt tack, uh, pack highly suggest you take a look at it especially for the sail colors so the the ranger green and then black on the demo side of the sale if they still have a couple um, for fifty dollars this was this is a good deal and i highly recommend it um, and then the pictures will be at the end uh, if you want to see it in its stock configuration but again skd has those pictures and they're they're really well done thanks guys